did a, I had a couple of failed attempts when I tried to start earlier, but we're here now, so that's a good thing. So we, I've heard rumors that there is potentially um, some old barns out here on no man's land. So, we're gonna go try and find some of those and see what happens. Hopefully we can find something uh, something good. So, right now we're, on, we're getting ready on our ATV. We'll actually start that up right now. And now we'll just get ready to Hello, Ozen. Hi. Welcome to the Farming Sim stream. Alright, alright. So, here we go on our four-wheeler. I don't really have a location on No Man's Land where we're going. So, we'll likely just drive around and hopefully find something. Um, oh, actually, I can see a couple of things right now actually so let's go see what we have oh there's actually a barn over here too so we'll check this one out first just see what we got okay that looks like a lot of things actually so we'll shut that off and go check some of this stuff out looks like a lot of deers Ooh, we got a 79.30 right out in the front. Okay, so that's actually pretty cool. I think we're gonna try and get in that and try and start it. It is winter and it's cold, so it will have to end up doing a, like a cold start thing. I don't even know if it'll start. It actually did go. That's pretty good. Okay, so we actually got it to run. We have to actually move it out of the way in order to get other stuff out of here. Anyway, so we might as well see if it'll, like, move. And it does. It actually does move. Okay, so I guess we'll just leave this out here and let her get warmed up a little bit. We actually got a 4840. Oh, what's that? That might not even be a tractor back in there. Oh, this is an old international. Got an old international 1455 XL. That's pretty cool. And then it is a truck in there. Oh, it's got a snowplow on it. Oh, I I can see something over there in the corner. I don't know if I can squeeze through this tire or not. It's an old Massey Ferguson. Oh. Oh god, that's an old Massey Ferguson in there. We got a 4240, 4640, and a 4840. Let's try to start up the 4840. All right, so we got the 4840 started, so let's move it out of the way. We're going to leave these things running. Ooh, I can see something else behind it. Let's try and start at this old truck. Actually, I only got in the 40. That's that. Uh, yeah, that Massey Ferguson's pretty cool. Ooh, I don't know what that thing is, but it's going to be pretty cool.
Oh, truck started. Okay, that's good. Let's lift the snowplow. Okay. Snowplow actually lifted. All right. Now that we got the truck out of the, at least we got a we got a free truck out of this barn find. So that's actually not half bad. <clears throat> okay, so let's go in. And, ooh, we got an old Fiat 605C Super. Oh, oh, that actually could be like an antique. I think we should. Okay, we're either trying to start the International or the the Fiat. We're gonna try and start one of them. It is cold though. It's minus one degree Celsius. So they're gonna be cold because I, by the looks of it, they've been everything in this barn has been sitting for a while. Here, I'll just start up the deers if I can. Jeez, the deers are just starting right up. All right, we'll leave, we'll leave them. Oh no, we're gonna. Okay, so everything else out here should be warm enough to turn it off. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just turn everything off. Hang on. Hang on a second. Okay, I gotta go AFK before I finish this, so in the time I'm AFK, it'll be... These tractors will be warm enough by the time I get back, so that's where we sit right now. I shall return fast.
tractor should be warm enough to pull him out of the way and shut him off. I've already seen two other barns, so this is definitely going to be a big barn find. We've already got a free truck and a bunch of free stu tractors out of it, so... I'm honestly fine with that. No one's wrote in the comments what I, which one I should start first. The old International or the old... Or the old, uh... Fiat or the old Massey Ferguson. It's not what you think it is. It's just, like, International. Alright, let's see if it'll start up. Ooh, that's fairly cold. Old oh, Fiat. Well, it looks it might have better luck than this. It rolled, but it didn't actually like go. All right, let's try the old Fiat. I like the animation you get when you go into it. <clears throat> I brought boost cables somewhere on my bike. It's just Well, I guess now's the time to see if the Mass Ferguson will start cuz I'll use it to Oh, that Mass Ferguson actually starts up. So we'll go hook up to the battery on this uh old Fiat here. Okay, that should be close enough to hook up. Yep, it is. Alright, let's try and get into it and see if it starts. What actually started up? That's definitely gonna need some time to warm up. Let's just pull the old Mass Ferguson. I guess we'll pull it up to here and hook on to the International with it and see if we actually get the International to fire up. Oh! I think she went. Oh, she did catch. International did catch up and now running. Let's take the fast Ferguson out. I can literally see two other barns already. And I've heard there might be more, so... This will be interesting. Ooh, I... Oh, I like the sound of that international. I'm gonna get this thing out of here if it will. Oh, she will go, actually. So, that's good. should have enough time to warm up oh yeah I like the sound of the international the international sounds good whoa does the international ever sound good it's got a straight pipe on it I don't know if I'll end up changing that and putting a flap on it because what a, well, my guess is it used to have a flap on it but then it's so old that the flap has like rusted off somewhere so I'll likely have to change that at some point but for now, we'll just try and get it out of here. Oh yeah. She is going good. Let's go start up the four-wheeler. We can go check out the other barns. That should be enough time for it to stay. Let's just try it and see if it starts right up again. Oh, it does. Alright, that's good. Alright, let's go check out these other two barns. Something's drawing me to the one that's back is facing us, so I'm gonna check that one out. 
Who knows? I wonder what's gonna be in this. That one had a lot of different stuff, and it was honestly pretty cool. Oh, I can see something through here. I see a lot of green and yellow. Did we just find a barn full of John Deere's? Ooh, we did. We just found a barn full of John Deere's. Okay. Ooh, a 49.55? Ooh, these are... Oh. Oh, they're all 49.55s. Oh, so they're bigger tractors. And then there's just this little one, a 5090. Let's try and start it up. Oh, there we go. Okay, it actually caught it up. Let's get this thing out of here. Alright, let's try and start every one of these up. Oh, that one caught. Let's try this one. Oh, that one caught. How about this one? Oh, they all caught. Oof. Good old John Deals never fail. Let's move these things out of the barn. Know what I mean? I haven't found a case in her. I haven't found a case yet. But we don't. I don't know. We have a lot more barns, I think, to find. So for now, we'll just take. Okay, let's get out. Let's. St just shut everything off, and we'll bring this thing out of the barn. All right, so. Everything's out. We got a lot of that was an only deer barn, which is honestly I'm fine with that But for now we're gonna back off and go check out that other barn that I could see I See a bunch of different colors oh, Okay, oh, okay. This is different. Oh There's a Oh, there's a new Holland in here. It's an old new Holland on tracks. There we go. Oh, oh, ooh, 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 I wanna, oh, I, I, I wanna check that out, oh my. Ooh, that's an old Ferguson. Ooh, that, that's an old Ferguson. Oh, that, that's two tractors connected to each other. That is two tractors connected to each other, guaranteed, or two engines at least. Holy cow, look at that thing. Oh, that is, that is, that is cool. Oh, look at this. Another one of those tracks. Another New Holland. Ooh, that one got up too. All right, let's move this thing out of here. I really want to get that Massey Ferguson out and up. Let's start this thing up if it will. Okay, that was... Maybe some of the stuff hasn't been sitting as long as the other stuff. Cause that thing just started right up. I wanna see if everything else is just start right up. Oh yeah. Yep, everything else is a basically start right up except for that. That old Massey Ferguson, I don't know what it's gonna be like. We'll have to check it out though. But if these things start right up, they don't need a charge. They're just good to go. Well, it's a good thing we got a four wheeler. Okay, this thing is nice. Comment below or 
show in the comments if you think that that old Ferguson's gonna start up under these weather conditions. It's not warm out. It's just like zero degrees Celsius, so very cold. Will this old Ferguson start up? Oh, I don't know. It's so old. It's so cool, though, but it's so old. Yeah, I'm going to say it might not be starting. Uh, uh, let's try and get one of these tractors in here. Okay, yep, let's grab this one. We're gonna hook up to the battery from this one onto that one, and... Hang on. Oh, no, I turned something off that I want on. That's what's going on, okay. I want the stop go breaking on. Okay, there we go. That's my problem. Uh, let's see here. That'll be close enough to hook the pair of booster cables up to. Yeah, definitely. All right, let's try it. I got a better idea. Unhook the booster cables and set this thing back out here so it's easier to hear. Okay, so we got a battery pack. We're just gonna hook here. Go out to our little four-wheeler here. Get the battery pack off the other side. We'll attach it to the battery number two. Just shove it right uh, back here on this one and put the other one right uh, back here as well. All right, let's try it. Ooh. It actually it actually went. The only question is will I be able to drive it out without stalling the thing? Ooh, this is gonna be let's try it. Oh no no I stalled it. Oh, we got her back up. Stalled it again. Okay, we'll just leave it a couple of seconds. Just give it a little bit of a charge. We'll go start our four wheeler and get ready to go try and find more barns. If there's any. Alright, that should be enough charge. Okay. Let's try. Oh, okay. Okay, it's going. At least I got it out of the barn. It stalled, it stalled off again, but it's out of the barn. That's all I wanted to do for now. At some point, I'll have to bring a... I'll have to bring that... I'll bring that new truck back to my farm at some point. And I will bring a bunch of tools back. Now we just gotta go around and see if we can't find another barn. Uh, I don't know if we will, though. I'll just look on my map and just see if it'll show any barns. Not showing any barns. We'll just drive off into the mysterious unknown. Well, too much drift. I wonder if we'll find anything else. Hopefully, we'll find something else. I don't know. Oh, and that is something else. Okay, I can see a transport. Oh, I see two transport trailers. One is almost tipped fully over, like, almost, like, tipped. Ooh, that's actually two semi-trucks right there. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, this is alright, actually. 
Let's try and start up the semi. Oh. It actually went up. Okay. Let's try and start up the other one. Okay, they both started up. Let's get a little general idea on what we're doing. Woof, is that truck ever loud? Let's try and hook onto this trailer if we can. Okay, that was pretty good that that these two things started up. What are these tractors in here? We got a T-150K? Never heard of that. And then unknown. It doesn't even have a side a side hood on it. H. Zinc. I don't know. It'll tell us when we get in, hopefully. So, yeah. Hopefully that'll be the case. Let's actually go grab this other trailer and Jeez, these trucks sound pretty good. Little Jake break, it sounds like in there. Oh, we can't hook on. Let's see if we'll hit any trees by accident. Okay. The main thing was getting it, getting the stuff out of the fence. Let's go shut these trucks off. Okay, uh, which one of these things do we start up first? Do we start up this one or the no name? Be well, it doesn't have, well, yeah, because it's got, it's got no side on it. No side on it. All right, I'll wait for a comment and just see. First, the comment is the first, or er, the person I will be listening to. Will it be this uh, T-150K or the unknown model? Let's go get ready. This... Oh, he... Ozen said no name. We're gonna go with no name. Alright, let's uh, do this for you, I guess. Just to see if it'll actually do anything. This is not going well. Ooh, this is being a big pain. All right, I'll try and turn the wheels if I can, as much as I can get to start. Hopefully that'll work, getting some oil flowing through. would actually start it up okay it's a hurlamane master never heard of that brand before Let's try it. Okay, now we got this one. This will be the last one, I think. Alright, let's see what we got to deal with here. Okay, we're on the right side of the cab. This is something I'm not used to, but we'll try it.
Well, I can see the fan trying to spin in there. Yeah, the fan definitely is spinning. It's just not spinning. Come on. Well, are you watching this one? This this tractor looks like it could potentially be a big pain. Just won't start up. It's just not doing it. Maybe we'll grab the battery pack from our four wheeler. Almost hit it with the truck, but didn't. Which is good. Let's set the pack here, I guess. Because the clamps are long enough to reach the alternator over here. So we'll just reach in there and clamp it on there and clamp the ground up to right there, I guess. Okay, let's try it. Oh, oh, okay, what's going on now? What's happening, Dad? That sounds really weird. Oh, apparently that was a good sound because it's actually... Started right now. Okay, that's actually better. All right, let's. Take this little thing out of here. Well, that one was a bit of a pain to start up, but it sounds so cool now that it's actually started up. Alright, so let's... Uh, I don't know. I think... Yeah, let's start a four-wheeler. We'll let up probably... Getting, oh, let's bring these back to our farm later. Yeah, this, we'll just leave the battery pack on this thing, I guess, to charge overnight, so. Let's shut it off. Oh, there she goes. Okay, so that's that. Okay, so. Where I'm heading on my little map here. Heading back to my farm. So, we found a lot of pretty cool things during that barn find, so. I think it was a good choice to do that. Maybe not drift like that down here. But, all in all, we did pretty good out of that barn find, so. Who knows if we'll ever find something, something as good as that again, but. For right now, we'll just go throw the four-wheeler beside our cultivator here. Give you a little tour on what else we got. Before I end, we got the, uh, we got the 450 Big Bud right next to the 16 volt 7, or 16V 747 Big Bud. Um, it's got a Detroit diesel in it. You can see from the giant engine inside. And then we got our John Deere 8960 over here. And that combine out there is the S790 we got. Uh, yes, Ozen, I will be streaming tomorrow. It'll just be a bit later. 
because I have to go to school. But as for right now, that was a pretty cool thing to go and do. And uh, find some pretty cool stuff in them. So until tomorrow, so tomorrow I'll be streaming at around 3.30 p.m. Eastern for you, Wilson. I'm sorry that it'll be so late, but I have school, so not able to start streaming till later, but hopefully you'd be able to show up if you're not doing anything. But if you, like, have school and you need to sleep, I totally get that. But I guess for now, we'll uh, sign off, and I will see you in tomorrow's stream. It will be a Hunter Call of the Wild, and I will see everyone next time.